On today's episode of Dapa Daniel, we're starting in like the Grandscape area up on this northwest side of Plano. The HOA in here is $785 annually. They do have an active 2004 three bed, four bath, 3,611 square feet. Awesome community, great location. It's just that it's priced out of basically everyone's budget unless you're a straight baller. Preston Road in Spring Creek is where this grocery store is now. Whole bunch of people at it. I was going and shopping here. I stopped shopping here because it's just too many bodies all in one place. A Little bit of an older aesthetic to this neighborhood with the homes. A lot of them are gonna be like these one story flat kind of roofs to them. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video today. I'm getting back to it doing the driving every street of Plano. I told you guys back in August, I did that legacy drive one and then just stopped after that. I didn't know if people like really like these and then someone left a comment yesterday asking if I was gonna do more videos like this driving around, driving every street. So I was like, shoot, let me, let me get back out there. I'm gonna try to do my best where it's like two to three videos a week like this where it's driving every street of whatever whatever city. Okay, maybe three's pushing it, at least two. I'll try my best to get two. I just don't know how much value this provides to you guys, but if people are leaving comments about it, they obviously you guys really like it. So this street is gonna be Spring Creek that we're gonna be driving on. We're starting in like the Grandscape area up on this northwest side of Plano, and then we'll actually work this kind of like Legacy in that video where we essentially took it all the way to 75 Highway. Road essentially runs east to west or west to east pretty long, one of the longest roads out here in Plano. So plenty of neighborhoods that we're gonna be going through today. The first one is gonna be Kings Ridge, which is here just right across the street from Grandscape, which is the huge amenity center that is located over in the colony. Here's what some of these homes look like in here. Now, the start of this video, the homes are gonna look a lot more nice, a little bit more grand, gonna be expensive, high HOAs, things like that. And then once we get a little bit further into this video, as we go along Spring Creek, the homes are gonna get pretty old. There's not really gonna be any HOAs, but the curb appeal is gonna uh, plummet downwards from what you kind of see right now. The HOA in here is $785 annually. They do have an active 2004 three bed, four bath, 3,611 square feet. Currently listed at $1,089,000 at 301 per square foot. You can see most of these homes are like two story big floor plans, but they're kind of smushed up against each other. They're not really laid out. They're probably sitting on like a 50 lot. Maybe some of them might even be pushing a 40. But I would say these are like 50 lots in here. Now there are par other parts of this neighborhood where some of the homes are a little bit bigger, but not a whole bunch of room between you and your neighbor on this one. So this is the first neighborhood. And then we'll head to our next one, which is gonna be Shoal Creek. There's a few neighborhoods before we get to the Dallas North Tollway. Where this neighborhood is located is actually pretty close to 121. So if we actually turn left here, kind of where we started the video, it's just the light away. So if you are living on this side, it is pretty easy to be able to hop onto 121 and then either get to the Dallas North Tollway, take that down to Dallas, or uh, go out to the DFW airport by hopping onto 121. What's gonna be a little bit further away is like Love Field from this area and getting down to that airport. All right, so we go over this bridge here and then Shoal Creek will be the neighborhood on this right side. There are some like nice little trees and green spaces along some of the backside of these homes here that add some more privacy. Not all the homes, but there are some uh, with a couple creeks that go, I guess that's where they get their name from, Shoal Creek. The HOA within here is gonna be $1,500 annually. So you can see with these, kind of the same vibe as that last neighborhood, although the homes are on a little bit bigger piece of land, but you got those homes that are gonna like have this like Mediterranean stucco look. Like these look really nice here. I'm not the biggest fan of like the Mediterranean whole stucco look, but I do think it looks nice. I like it better than painting it blue. And then you can see Shady Brook Trail runs behind here. And then a few of these homes are up on retaining walls, but these homes do look really nice. More of a luxury feel within this neighborhood. They do have an active in here, a 1999 five bed, four and a half bath, 4,818 square feet, listed at $1,250,000 at 259 
per square foot. So pretty big homes within here, uh, but you got kind of a range of like traditional looking homes with stone, some brick, and then you have the opposite end where it's like the Mediterranean Tuscan feel to the home. All right, well, I thought I was gonna be able to get out going down that one. This neighborhood has a bunch of cul-de-sacs in it. You do have homes that were built back in 1990s, and then you got other homes that are fairly, not new construction, but you know, at least five years old within here. So a good range within this neighborhood. Across the street is one of my favorite neighborhoods. However, it's got like three, $4 million homes. I mean, I put this neighborhood across the street, Normandy Estates right up there with like Newman Village. Awesome community, great location. It's just that it's priced out of basically everyone's budget unless you're a straight baller. The HOA in there, and it's completely gated, guarded, like no one's getting in there unless you, you know, have a pass and you're a homeowner or maybe, you know, you're doing like a home tour showing um, and able to get into it, but it's, it's pretty heavily guarded. The HOA within that one is $4,792 annually. There is an active in there, a 2019 four bed, four and a half bath, 5,993 square feet, listed at $3,995,000 at 666 per square foot. Which, if it was me, I would have just listed it at like 667 per square foot. I think it's I think it's bad luck to be listing a house at 666 per square foot, but that's just me. Over on this right side is Wolf Creek Estates. There's no actives in there. You can kind of see the bricked lining on the outside of the neighborhood here, but it's over to the right. We're not gonna go through that one. A Little bit older homes within there. HOA is $69 monthly, but that's what that looks like. But those are like four of the neighborhoods right there, right before we get to the Dallas North Tollway. And then before you get to the Dallas North Tollway, it actually turns into like more commercial developments. There are there are still some parts of Plano over on this Dallas North Tollway side in Spring Creek where it's still a bunch of fields right now and not as developed in this area. And then over here at this intersection, uh, you have some car dealerships, you got Lexus, Mercedes, BMW, they're all in this like section. You can see them when you're driving down the Dallas North Tollway. And then you have some other small businesses, pre-K centers, and then also some like hotels around this area. But you can see over to the left, still, still a good amount of fields over on this side. Over on the other side of Dallas North Toy is actually where Haggard Farms is going to be going into. And that's the new big development that's getting built on this side, uh, just across the street from like where the shops of, at Legacy is. It's going to be on the east side of the Dallas North Toy. Look at that. We timed this up perfectly right now. This video is going smooth. But this is where Haggard Farms not quite in this field, but the field's a little bit further back. Going to be a huge mixed-use development within here. Single-family, multi-family, adult living, all those types of things are going to be going over on this section over the next five years. They're going to be de developing it. They're putting in like an apartment complex further in over there. Car dealerships over to the left. Got some other storage facilities along here. And then just really businesses up on this side. We're going over Parkwood now. The next neighborhood we're gonna talk about isn't until we get to Preston. So not a whole bunch of residential things up along this area. It's really more of just like apartments rather than single family townhomes. Uh, some older apartments along here. Uh, Lakeside on Preston is one of the communities that you do run into before you get to Preston. Not, it's not quite, it's it's kind of along Spring Creek, but I'm saving that one. I'm gonna do a drive-through on that one whenever I do the Preston video of this. This whole video series is gonna be like 13 videos. So hopefully, like I said, I'll do like two of these a week. They're just so taxing on the body because it's like driving, not just taxing on the body for like driving and going around to these places for, for a pretty long video, but editing these videos are sometimes a pain in my butt. If you guys like them, you see a bunch of value in this, I'll keep doing it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you do like these videos and just doing the driving tours. They're a little bit different than that of like model homes and neighborhood tours that I usually do or my development videos, but I know a lot of people just like 
to get an idea and a feel for things. Uh, and this is sometimes the best way, doing like a little driving tour down each street. It just takes a long time. I know a bunch of people like the Prosper and the Frisco one uh, that I did previously. So if you are, if this is the first time you're joining the channel right now and uh, seeing a driving tour, I do have a couple other cities that I have done. Also, let me know down in the comments what other cities you guys want me to do and check out. The HEB is also right along here. This is the new one that they built over here in Plano. You can start to see it now, right after this Cadillac turns right. But they got the HEB right along Preston. So Preston Road and Spring Creek is where this grocery store is now. Whole bunch of people at it. I was going and shopping here. I stopped shopping here because it's just too many bodies all in one place. It's too crazy. Even like at night, if you go shop, like, there's still a bunch of people there. More apartments along here. You got an adult, senior. Oh, that's not adult living. That's just straight up seniors within there. Over on that side. And then some more apartments along here. And then we'll be at our next neighborhood which is going to be Preston Springs and across from there is going to be Windsor Park so this is Preston Springs over on the right side let's turn in here the HOA is going to be $500 annually they are going to have an active 1996 four bed three and a half bath 4,118 square feet listed at $699,000 at 169 per square foot now this neighborhood like when I think about old Plano old Plano money, old Plano neighborhoods. What this looks like is what pops into my head and how this all looks with the trees, the homes in here. Got this nice little fountain on this cul-de-sac. But you can just kind of see all the trees, totally different vibe of a neighborhood than what you usually see uh, especially with like these new master plan communities, which is like quite refreshing to like go through a neighborhood like this with like the trees that are huge, great for walking around, being able to do that, having shade as you go walk, you know, on a hot summer day here in Texas, big homes, big lots. I mean, these lots are probably sitting on like 70s within here, pretty big homes kind of all over the place. Most of them are gonna have like the brick look to them, very traditional. You might have some with like some columns, not gonna be like bare, I, would, I wouldn't say no stucco, but if it is stucco or something like that or painted brick, it's cause it's been updated. Probably like this one over to the left where they've gone in and repainted the whole house white. What do I say guys, when in doubt, paint it white. And then across the street from here is gonna be Windsor Park. That HOA is gonna be $275 annually and they're gonna have no actives right now within there. And that's the neighborhood that you see bricked off. And then Bristol Point Estates is this one here that's just across from Preston Springs. So Preston Springs is over on this right side. Bristol Point is in here. It's gonna have the same look of homes. However, the lots are not gonna be as big. Homes aren't gonna feel as grand within this one. And then also parts of this neighborhood have the power lines running on the side of it. So just like I said in my legacy video, there's these power lines that run basically from the north side of Plano all the way to the south side of Plano. And they've built in this long walking and biking trail within here. Whoa, look at this. What is that? He's got that thing low. Is that a Mitsubishi? Little Mitsubishi? That was an interesting color on a car. But this is the huge power line system that runs through Plano, and then they have this walking trail that goes really far. So if you are someone that wants to like get on something and run or bike, you know, not a lot of trees along there, not a lot of parks, and there are some good trail systems through Plano. They have some like nature preserve areas. There's a nature preserve over on the west side and over on the east side of Plano uh, that you can walk around. The middle of Plano is just gonna get, you know, kind of old and a little bit crusty. 
with some of the areas just because Plano's older guys. There's just a little bit more character over in this area. Then across the street from here is that Windsor Park like I was saying, but also there is Preston Crest, another neighborhood up on this corner. No act is within there and that one actually has no HOA. So now that we're on this side of Plano, majority of these neighborhoods now are gonna have no HOAs within them. Beginning of this video, some of the highest HOAs within Plano and that's like the newer side of Plano, that Northwest section. And by newer, I mean like homes that are built like 2015, 2010. Now we're starting to get into the area where it's gonna be homes that were built back in like 1970s, 1980s, and things like that. Uh, the last neighborhood before we get to Coit, cause that's the next road we're going over into, is gonna be Spring Bend. And that's this neighborhood over to the right. No act is within there. And then there also is no HOA as well. So these are what the homes look like more one-story homes are gonna be over here in Spring Bend. So that one we were in before, Bristol Point had more two-story homes. Still got the big trees around here, which is nice. But majority of these homes are gonna have all brick to them. Oh look, another one that's been updated and just painted white. That's the trend. hop back on to Spring Creek and then we'll go over Coit. Now at each one of these like intersections there's going to be like some grocery store or small shopping commercial stuff. So you know Coit, Independence, Custer, all these roads here you're going to have some type of shopping. Uh, not high-end shopping, not mall shopping, but uh, some small like grocery stuff or you know you have you have dental offices things like that kind of around these areas there is a Walmart up on this corner um, just some of the businesses around here AutoZone Jimmy John's a spa haircuts Jiffy Lube what else you got the Walmart up here on this right side Popeyes some grocery stores a pharmacy a Starbucks KFC that's what's going on over at this intersection. And this is Coit that we're going over now. And now majority of these like older neighborhoods within here, they might have a small pool within them, but it's not gonna be like grand amenity centers uh, that you see in some of these other bigger master plan communities. They are gonna be on the scale of like a master plan community with the amount of homes within them, but they really may just not have like the total package when it comes to amenities but like i said they might have a small pool area but like workout rooms are going to be very 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 few and far between the next neighborhood we're going to be going into is carriage hill they have an hoa of nothing majority of these neighborhoods now that we go into and i talk about are not going to have an hoa of anything turning on Mission Ridge and within here is going to be Carriage Hill so Carriage Hill still got the big trees within here older homes a little bit bigger homes like these are kind of on like the almost I would say Preston Springs with kind of how big they are with like some of these huge columns on the front entryways okay whoa they painted that house i don't know if that popped up on camera but that house is painted blue and white well uh i'll do a quick turnaround on this one and show you guys that i don't know about that one that is interesting maybe papa smurf lives there there is an active in here a 1988 five bed three and a half bath 3,870 square feet listed at six hundred and ninety nine thousand dollars at 180 per square foot have the tree in that front neighborhood front neighborhood tree on that house is huge this is the blue house i don't know about that one and homie your tree looks dead yeah your tree looks super dead some of these lawns don't have any trees with them and then you got some of these bigger trees along here now we just went over Spring Creek. We are over into Spring Creek Parkway Estates. So 
here's what the homes look like within here. They're gonna have no HOA within this one. And then there is an active 1983, four bed, two and a half bath, 2,187 square feet, listed at $469,000 at 214 per square foot. So the homes over in this neighborhood, getting a little bit cheaper, starting to get homes below that 500K mark within here. And that's just due to majority of these homes are gonna need to be updated on the inside. Some of them are gonna be updated already, but a lot of these homes are not gonna be at that point where if you are looking for something, it might be a little bit more of a job to handle. Roads within here are a little bit more rough. Yeah, I would definitely say this neighborhood's got a little bit more character to it. Now we're going over Independence. And the next neighborhood is West Plano Estates. The West Plano Estates is gonna have no HOA and then they have an active within their 1983 four bed, three bath, 2,275 square feet, listed at $499,000 at 219 per square foot. And it's this neighborhood over to the right here. So at Independence, it looked like not a lot of like grocery shopping. You had like some commercial businesses within there, but not a whole bunch of stuff. This is West Plano Estates over on this right side. And then the next road that we're coming up to is going to be Custer. And then right before you get to Custer, you got some more commercial buildings, businesses up along here. So this intersection has a couple gas stations, CVS Pharmacy, a Walgreens. Let's see, you got some small little strip malls, but nothing, nothing like a big grocery store. You got a couple supermarkets over here, and then we'll actually be at 75 Highway. So I would say probably, I would say probably majority of the families that are going to be living over in this section are probably going to end up taking going to 75 highway rather than driving now to the Dallas North Tollway because that's probably a little bit further now. Also 75 highway is a freeway so it wouldn't actually cost you money. We're kind of closer to that highway system than the Dallas North Tollway one. Spring Creek as you kind of drive it, it starts on the far northwest side but Spring Creek actually turns into Shiloh Road, which takes you to George Bush. So essentially, Spring Creek is a pretty long road that can take you all the way to like the colony side, up there on the northwest side of Plano at 121, and then you kind of take it and drive all the way down to essentially the east side of Plano over where George Bush is, kind of on the south side where it meets Richardson. The next neighborhood in here is Hunter's Glen. They have an HOA of nothing they do have an active within here, a 1983 bed, two bath, 2,049 square feet, listed at $510,000 at 248 per square foot. And then on the left side, we'll hop into this neighborhood, is going to be Park Forest. Has no HOA. They do have an active 1977 four bed, two bath, 2,155 square feet, listed at $424,000 at 196 per square foot. So within this neighborhood, you're getting below 200 per square foot. You can see the trees within here go all over all of the roads. And provide a little bit more shade kind of walking around. You don't see most neighborhoods set up like this anymore where the front of the home is, like you find this more in like the North Dallas area with homes like this. When you get over into this like North Plano area, not a lot of homes are set up like this, but you can kind of see this main street of Spring Creek that we're on. And then you have all these homes that are facing out towards the front of it, which is a little bit different than you know some of these other communities that I travel around to or we go tour around where it's like fully enclosed by some type of you know fencing or bricked wall and then the last neighborhood before we get to 75 highway is going to be town west which is going to be over on this right side after we get over, I believe this is Alma. 
Yeah, after we get over Alma. So Alma and Spring Creek, more businesses over here, more gas stations. There's like a sports field park also for Plano up along here. Okay, we just crossed over Alma. Alma would be the same road that you would take actually to get into like Allen, then McKinney, and actually turn, can uh, take you over into the Frisco area as well. Some more commercial developments along here, fast food restaurants, and then on this back section is where Town West is. here and then actually across the street from town west is clark high school over here in plano a little bit of an older aesthetic to this neighborhood with the homes a lot of them are going to be like these one story flat kind of roofs to them not a whole bunch of different pitches you can kind of see from the look of these homes right here in this like half cul-de-sac thing they do have an active oh this poor tree he a goner they do have an active within here, a 1981 three bed, two bath, 1,444 square feet, list at $329,000 at 228 per square foot. So older homes within here, smaller homes within here. You got something like a 1,200 square foot home also within here, also around like 2,000 square feet, but not gonna really be any two-story homes if it is two-story it might just have like a little bit of a bump up okay they're Hyundai my goodness what I say guys when in doubt paint it white just paint your whole actually is that metal that's not even wood <laughs> that whole that is interesting that house I thought it was fencing then I got closer to it and it's just metal just a big sheet of metal. It looks like roof. Looks like what they what you put on like top of like a shed they use for their actual fence. As you can see, no HOA within this one. I'm gonna hop back on to Spring Creek. We'll go under 75 Highway, and then there'll just be a few more neighborhoods for us to check out for today. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the uh, driving tour. Also, quick little update with my business. I've gone in and I've updated some of my branding stuff. So I've come out with like a new logo. Maybe you guys saw that on the intro, but I'm just trying to like, per I'm about a year and a half away from being able to get my brokerage license. I'm on a great team right now at KW with the Home Expert team, but I know that within like the next four years, three to four years, I wanna have my own brokerage like maybe still be under something like KW EXP or something like that, but have my own team with my own branding. I've been trying to come up with like, I don't know, for the past week, I've been trying to like design something like that's like a, a good simple logo that also like encompasses like homes and gives that feel, but also gives like a luxury feel to it. So I've just kind of like rebranded some things and come up with like a new logo uh, for DAPA. Some people have asked me, they're like, what is DAPA? Like, what is that? What does that even mean? Well, guys, my first name's Daniel. My last name's Patrick. So if you take the first two letters of my first name and the first two letters of my last name, DA and PA, and then you put those together, you get DAPA. I wanted to create something where it was like easy to remember three three letters or four letters. I mean, there's so many of these other brokerages I see. I mean, even my, the team I'm on, the homeexpertteam.com, I mean, it's pretty long. It's not really rememberable. Like I wanna make something that's like Nike or like, What's another one? Jeep or Kia or like all these big brands that you see, they're only a few letters long. So like that's kind of like my mindset when it comes to like coming up with a name or something um, for my business and brokerage later on. So DAPA is gonna be like my business, like corporate entity of things that like I wanna do like DAPA real estate, DAPA home inspections, DAPA developments. Da like DAPA will be this thing that is like the brand over whatever you know, other business I wanna get into. I think I'll get my brokerage license, do that. And I think the next thing, maybe 2024, is getting my inspector license. I think like that's the next thing I kinda wanna get after for my business and do that and be able to provide something uh, 
you know, have, have just a little bit more knowledge on like the home inspection stuff, right? Like I think that'll just like help me out gain more business in the long run of things. But that's kind of where the business is at right now. Everything's going smooth, working with great families. It's going awesome right now. I have the most homes under contract on my team. So thanks to you guys. Like, I don't know, it's just crazy. It's crazy right now. I mean, people are still buying homes even with interest rates going bonanzas. It has slowed down a bit, but there's still, people are still coming in. I think there's still so many people trying to move out to Dallas, which I know these videos really help out because people that aren't able to come out and like tour all the cities, you know, watching these videos, you know, hopefully is like helping you guys get a better idea with things. Okay, so we just went under 75 Highway. You got more commercial developments along here, gas stations, you know, those things. You got a Sam's Club as well. Not a whole bunch of neighborhoods up along this spot. More of the neighborhoods are kind of once you get around this curve and actually start heading more south into like what is the Richardson area, North Dallas area. But you got some pretty basic restaurants around here. Waffle House. There's a Moo Ya Burger, State Farm Insurance, Raisin Canes. And then also up here is gonna be the Spring Creek Collin College Campus. I was trying not to say community because back when I was in school, they were like changing, you know, or maybe you don't know, but they they had it where the Collin College, now it's referred to as Collin College, but it used to be Collin County Community College, Quad C back in the day, you know, for the four C's. I think they're trying to like rebrand themselves into like not a community college, even though they really are a community college, they now go by like Collin College. So more apartments along here. And then once we start heading a little bit more south, we'll run into the next neighborhood, which is the Hills of Spring Creek. So you got the Plano Event Center also on this right side, but back a little bit further is where that Collin College campus is. And then there are some other parks. There is a pretty big nature preserve over on this section as well. This street here is Jupiter. If we went right, this would take us down into uh, the Richardson area and then over into the highway system that is George Bush. I think this video is sitting at like 45 minutes, which is just gonna be a blast to edit, but. I can edit those. Usually like a 45 minute video will take me like three to four hours to edit. And yes guys, I do all my editing, my videos, my thumbnails, my contra, I do, I do everything. And that's the other thing with like this business is like I wanna show people that like you can do it all by yourself. If you get all the resources and you teach yourself things, you don't need to hire a videographer. You don't need to hire an editor. You don't need to do any of that stuff. Just teach yourself tools and things on YouTube, how to edit videos if you are wanting to do. And this doesn't even have to do with like real estate and doing that. This is like any type of business. I just wanna show people that you can do all this yourself and be able to make an impact. And that's what I'm doing. That's why I haven't hired an editor. That's why I don't hire a videographer. And that also eats into my profit margins too. I think that's the other thing as well. It's like I keep my cost way down on my business because I don't pay all these like extra things that some of these other agents do, which is fine because some agents are, you know, they only have, you know, they have a whole family. So they got to take the kids here and then they only have time to, and then they're showing buyers around. Meanwhile, for me, I'm more like, you know, I have no kids. I'm living and breathing this real estate stuff. So I'll go shoot my videos in the morning, maybe go show buyers in the afternoon, maybe shoot like three videos in one day. Just kind of depends. It's also like, I think this thing, I think also this business is like a lot of time management and figuring that stuff out. All right, so the Hills of Spring Creek is back on my right shoulder. I was too busy talking, but that neighborhood in there has an HOA of $305 semi-annually. They do have an active in there, a 2004, four bed, three and a half bath, 3,787 square feet, listed at currently listed at $799,000 at 211 per square foot. This is now Parker Road that we're going over. So Parker will actually be the next road that I do. Uh, and then it'll be park, and then I'll start doing the roads that run more north and south. Once we get over Parker, the roads start turning into like some one lanes, a little bit smaller over on this section. Nothing serious, but it does get a little bit more tight up along here. And then the last neighborhood is gonna be this one, which is gonna be Park Hollow. All right, 
right, so here is the last neighborhood, Park Hollow. HOA is gonna be nothing within here. There is an active, a 1993 four bed, two and a half bath, 2,182 square feet. Currently listed at $550,000 at 252 per square foot. Also along this section is some like walking trails, park trails that they have uh, in between some trees. And then you also have like the nature preserve that's pretty close to this neighborhood as well. But once again, you can see big trees in like all of these neighborhoods that are in like the older side of Plano. And then right before you get to park, because uh, that's where Spring Creek ends and turns into Shiloh Road. If we kept taking this down, it would turn into George, it would take you to George Bush Tollway. That would probably be about like 10 minutes away from this point. But over on this backside of Park Hollow is going to be another shopping center and grocery store up along here. So Park is this road that's here. And then this is a Walmart neighborhood market within here. And then you also have some like other dental offices, donut store, just some small shops like that. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. So if you guys stayed all the way to the end of this video, thank you guys so much. That was a pretty long video and showing you that. Like I said at the beginning, I'll try to get more of these. If you guys leave a comment down below saying that you do like these types of videos, I'll make sure I get more of them out quicker for you guys. I wanna try to shoot for like two of these a week. Hopefully I can, I can get that done. Also, if you are in the market for buying in Plano or the North Dallas area, please send me a text or give me a call. I have all my information down below. Would love to work with you guys. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.